All right, I just got four brand new tires on my 2013 Nissan Leaf. Here's the story. What happened was I got a nail in the tread of my front tire and the tread was at 130 seconds, which is the red. If you look at their chart inside the tire office, you've got green, yellow, and red. Red is like danger, danger. Even though the tire had enough tread to drive another few months, they wouldn't patch it. So because of that, I didn't want to replace just one tire because I had Bridgestone, which is a name brand tire, and all of them were from 2020. So I thought to myself, they're gonna give me a deal because I'm buying four new tires. I don't wanna to have to come back into the tire shop. So I just ended up buying the cheapest tire I could put on this car because the car's only worth like $2,000. It only goes 70 miles. As you can see, it's charging right now. It charges all day long, <laughs> every day, because every time I drive it, it's charging and driving and charging. It only charges at 1500 watts because I haven't installed an EV charger in the garage. I do have Tesla solar panels, so I should probably invest in an EV charger, but I'd have to upgrade my panel possibly. It just adds to the complexity. So, long story short, I bought these Sentries, and the most important thing about these tires for me was the rolling resistance. Yeah, so they actually rate at America's Tire uh, rolling resistance now. They didn't used to show this, at least in n any tire shop that I've ever been at, they would never talk about the LRR, the low rolling resistance tires. But I think because there's so many EV customers here in California on the market, they are changing the way that they rate tires. And these Touring Century tires are, I think, 4.5 out of 5. And the Bridgestones that I replaced that came with the car were also 4.5. So they're pretty much the same rolling resistance. And that's really important. Because one time I put on these like Firestone fuel savers. This was years ago, maybe four years ago. And there was like a very noticeable drop in the range, at least 8%, 10%, 12%. And when you're at 70 miles, that's not very good. So now what I'm gonna do is take this for a quick road trip and show you uh, just how it handles, how it drives, and uh, see what's up. So I'm really excited because this car has another two years, if not four years of life left as an around town car. Nothing crazy, it only goes 70 miles. But because I have Tesla solar panels, it's such a waste to not have an electric car because the, Sienna is a hybrid. It takes gas. It doesn't plug in. So I don't know. I'm probably going to keep this car forever, at least until I can't anymore. I've got to replace the strut and shock combo right here because it's making a lot of noise. Um, I just paid registration for California. It was like $135. So it's really not that much. I mean, for other states, it's a lot, but I just got my sticker, so I should definitely keep it for at least another year. Every, every uh, March, I need to figure out, like, do I want to keep this car? So for now, I'm keeping it. Let's go take this on the road, and we'll be right back. You can hear the suspension. Listen to that. Right there, you can hear it. So what I'm going to do is go fill up my tires, because I asked America's Tire to fill up my tires as much as possible that is safe. And here's what they said. So the sticker on the door says that my tires should be 36 PSI. He said, don't go more than five PSI above that 
or don't go more than five PSI below the max on the tire. So I'm gonna go check the max on the tire um, because he said when I'm running down the freeway, the tire heats up and uh, grows to about five PSI more than what you put in. So when the tire's hot, it expands and the PSI grows and you could possibly have an explosion. We don't want that. But we do want to increase range because right now we're getting about uh, 70 miles of total range, which is not a lot. You can see there's 4.7 miles per kilowatt hour. And this car only takes, I mean, brand new, it had 23 kilowatt hours which is more realistically like 20 but right now it's probably only like 15 kilowatt hours total so if you do the math uh 15 times 5 yeah it's about 70 so that makes sense so blowing up your tires uh increases range like crazy uh it's much better than bringing like stuff that's heavy out of the car emptying the car's trunk. It's so much better than all of that, but you gotta be careful because if you go too much, it's dangerous. However, this car is so heavy for the tires, at least the Bridgestone Ecopia 422 tire, that the outside edge would wear on all four tires, especially in the front, because I'm going around corners, but these tires, um, I don't know how these are gonna work. These are super cheap. Touring uh, Century, they were like $409, all four of them. And I'm pretty excited because I didn't realize I could buy cheap tires for this car. Obviously this car is only worth like $2,000. So why would I put $1,200 worth of tires on it? Um, I've gotta replace the strut soon anyway so i don't really know how i'm going to replace this but on ebay they sell these strut spring combos for like really cheap like 120 dollars. so i got to replace that um i got the tires so now i'm going to blow them up nozzle here is pretty new so i'm just going to fill up these tires and see what what they put them at he was supposed to already fill them to 41. Let's see what we got in here. It looks like they're at about, yeah, 40. Oh, wow. He went above 41. Okay, that's fine. So, yeah, they're already really, really high. It says max PSI 44. So they went to the maximum, at least on this tire. Yeah, it's probably safe to be at 44 because I don't really go that fast on the freeway. It's not like I'm doing a drag strip and, you know, my tires are going to get really, really hot. I go like 60 miles an hour because I get the most amount of range. So I'll let you know how this goes. Registration here in California is, I think, the highest in the nation. Tell me what your registration is for your car. But our registration is about $120 to $900 a year. I've heard of some guys that have like big trucks, like pickup trucks. They're almost $1,000 for registration per year here in California. Like a truck that size, you know? And in Oregon, you only have to register your car every two years and it's like $80. Have you ever been to, if you live in a state where they do that test where they, like, they have somebody get in your car they run it down this smooth track and they hit the brakes and they do this brake test. I remember when I was a kid in New Jersey, we used to go do that for our cars. We would get out and there'd be all this screeching tire because there's like 10 lanes, almost like a toll booth crossing. And all these cars are just like gunning it and then hitting the brakes. I wonder if they quit doing that because it's dangerous but we would sit by on the side of the road while some guy in a jumpsuit like floored it and then hit the brakes and they tested the car and everything. So I don't know if they still do that in New Jersey or other states. They don't do that here in California. Well, back home. 
Thank you so much for watching, guys, Garage. I have 692 subscribers. And if you subscribe, you're gonna get this channel to the next level so I can start buying cars, fixing them, and making this channel everything that it should be because I'm addicted to cars. I'm obsessed and you're fueling my addiction. So stop it or start, whatever. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. You know the drill. Like this video, there, yeah, do that. At least do that. If nothing else, just like the video, okay? Comment, you can also comment too. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. How many things, how many ways can you interact? Okay, I digress. See you later, bye.